This tutorial will guide you through creating and utilizing catalog items in ProCloud. To get started, we will first discuss the difference between inventory items and catalog items. An inventory item is an actual item you generally have on hand, perhaps in your showroom, or you may order this often to keep in stock for use within your projects or to sell via point of sale. Inventory items are typically not custom made unless they are returned by a client. The catalog system allows you to save a copy of a configuration of an item and its components for use in future projects or to predefine commonly used items by filling in as many details as are necessary. A catalog item may contain a component from your inventory to make the item complete. For example, if over several months you find you are proposing a particular bathroom vanity configuration to many clients, you could add this vanity into your catalog and then pull the catalog item into a project instead of repeatedly typing all of the information each time that same vanity is used. Another use for the catalog is building a template. Let's say you have a window treatment that you use for many clients, except maybe there are small changes in the hardware or fabric selected. This window treatment can be set up in your catalog along with components for all of the various options. It can then be brought into a project. Any unwanted components can be removed, while others can be changed to create the final custom window treatment. Now let's create a new catalog item. To do so, select the catalog button under the project menu and then select add. Enter a description for your item and create a unique catalog number. Optionally enter a color finish, style size, quantity and units, along with the sales category. Select Add to enter your component details. Enter the vendor, estimated unit cost, and any freight or other charges that may be associated with this component. When complete, select OK or select OK Add to include an additional component. In this example, we will bring in a component that is from our inventory. To do so, select the From Inventory button. Find and choose the stock item. Make any necessary changes to this component and then select OK to save. If you wish to include a picture with your catalog item, select the Picture tab. Load or paste in a picture for your item. When complete, select the Item tab again to review your components. Then select OK to save your new catalog item. You will now see this item on your catalog glossary. To save an item that is currently inside a project to your catalog, you will go to Project Specifications, enter the project code of where the item is to save, highlight the item that you wish to save, and then select the Store button. Enter a unique new catalog number and optionally complete the color finish and style size fields, then select OK. A message affirming that the item was successfully saved into your catalog will appear. Select OK. You can now go back to your catalog glossary and you will see the item has been added. If you edit the new catalog item, you will see all of your components and picture information has been stored into the catalog for your future use. You can make any necessary changes, add or delete components here. When complete, select OK to save your changes. To bring an item from your catalog into a project, go to your project specifications and enter your project code. Select the catalog button and enter or search to find your catalog item. Once entered, include a quantity and optionally enter the location to place this item into. Then choose OK. The catalog item and all of its components and pictures will appear as an item inside your project. You can edit the item to make any necessary changes if the client wishes to customize the item. This completes our tutorial on adding a new catalog item. To review more tutorials and knowledge-based articles, please visit our Help Center at designmanager.com.